Hope. My name is Amanda Cavalieri. I'm the director of Tomorrow's Hope Preschool, and I'm so excited that you are joining us in person and online for Back to School Sunday. Um, if you are a student, I'm talking to you today. Can you raise your hand if you just went back to school in the last couple weeks? Let me see where those students are. Can we, can we grown-ups give them a round of applause? It is hard hard going back to school, right? One day it's summer, we're in our pajamas, we're eating our second breakfast, and the next day we're dragged out of bed and thrown on a bus, and for our high schoolers, it's still dark out. That's really hard. And mornings are really hard, and so in my house, we try and pack our backpacks the night before school to make our mornings easier. And so I've been thinking about what would Jesus want us to pack in our backpacks if we were going back to school? I know some of us use iPads and some of us use folders, but what I want to talk about today is something in the Bible that I think Jesus would want us to bring every day. And those things are called the fruits of the Spirit. And they're not the fruits that we eat like apples and bananas and grapes. They're way more important. Things like love and joy, peace and patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, self-control. These are the things that Jesus would want us to bring to school every day. So I threw some in my backpack. I wanted to share them with you. So the first fruit that I think God would want us to bring would be love, right? Love is like the secret sauce of everything. It's how we treat others, and it's how others see Jesus in us. Oh, and the next one is joy. Joy is like a party for your heart, right? So, I mean, it could be Monday morning, you could have forgotten your homework, but you can still have joy, because joy helps us find the good in every day. Well, the next one is peace. And if you've ever been in a cafeteria or a busy classroom, you know how noisy it is. So peace is like noise-canceling headphones for your heart. We can find calm when we have peace. Oh, this one's tough. This one is so tough. It's patience. <sighs> because patience means we are waiting and waiting. We're waiting for the bus. We're waiting for our teacher to help us. We're waiting in line for lunch. It is so hard. It's not fun. Waiting is so hard. But patience says... It's okay. You'll get there. Well, goodness and kindness and faithfulness are like superpowers, really, to be like an awesome friend. We can be like superheroes. We can be, here's my cape, thank you, <sighs> helpful and kind and share and dependable, right? We keep our promises when we are those things. And then sometimes a friend might be having a hard time and they might need gentleness. Gentleness is like how you would hold a tiny chick, right? Soft and careful and, and so gentle. And then the really hard one, self-control. Self-control is like your gym teacher or your coach who just says, don't eat that full bag of candy. <laughs> Stop. It's not good for you. Self-control is hard, but so important. And when we remember to pack our backpack with all these fruits of the Spirit every day, when we bring love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control, when we pack those every day, we get to go to school and be the best version of who we are who God wants us to be, and we get to share that with all of our friends and teachers. So let's pray right now and ask God to help us carry those things to school with us. Lord, we thank you so much for these fruits that you give us to bring. Help us every day to bring to school with us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control so that we can be the people that you want us to be. And all God's children said, amen. You may join us again as we continue in song.